Hey friends, we're back with another quick video. This is what we'll be recreating today. We're using one light. I'll show you how I built the set, styled it with props, and how we got some dope shots. Let's start building the set. I had the idea of a grass wall or like some kind of block fixture that was covered in grass. I bought some AstroTurf from Home Depot. I cut out some sections and then placed it on the box. I tried a few ways of making sure the turf would stick, but ultimately I had to go out and buy a glue gun and even then it was a little wonky. The rest of the set is simple. I laid out the AstroTurf for the floor. I put our custom box on top of that and I'm using a vinyl backdrop from Club Backdrops. I'm not affiliated with them. I just really love their product. On to props. All right, so we've got our product, which is the orange soda, sparkling water from Ugly. We've got actual oranges. Uh, I bought some acrylic cups from West Elm that were on sale. And then last, we've got some fake eyes from Amazon. I think it was like five or six bucks. Uh, I'll link everything down in the description. All right, so let's style the scene. I decided to kind of wing it this time since I was making this video on a little bit of a time constraint. So here's a few things to keep in mind when you're styling the scene. One, giving each prop and product its own space to live in. Two, items shouldn't overlap in a way that cause distractions to the eye. Three, composition. So everything should flow with intention, whether it's left to right, uh, diagonal, or you're using the rule of thirds. It could be even a pattern, or you could go in a circle. You just wanna make sure there's some intention, there's some reasoning behind what you're doing because that always comes out in the end product. Camera settings. 99% of the time, I'm at f14 with my ISO at 100 and my shutter speed's one over 250. Now, you can check out a previous video where I go over those settings and why, but just know that for product photography, this is fairly common. It doesn't mean that's what you have to do, it's just what I do. All right, on to the lighting. I have one Godox 8400 and I've raised it up. I wanted to recreate direct sunlight, so I'm not putting any modifiers on it, like any soft boxes or uh, any diffusion, nothing like that. It's just bare bulb and it's up super high. So it definitely took some adjusting to find the right angle, but I finally found it and I'm mainly paying attention to how the reflections on the can look and then also making sure there's no shadows that are overlapping the cans or any other important parts of the photo. I added a few bounce boards to help fill in those shadows on the left side. You could just use a second light, but my challenge was kind of one light, so we're just gonna work with what we got. I'm also using this fun gobo that I made out of white foam board. I wanted to create the feel of light leaks for a few of these shots. Uh, so this was a perfect and expensive way to do that. So here's the photo raw. Here's the photo with some basic edits on it. And then here's the photo with a full retouch. Check out some of these other shots that we got. All right, friends, that's it. Hope you learned something. Hope you got inspired. Go follow me on Instagram at Haas House. I'd love to connect and interact with you there. Post any questions below. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, hope you liked that video. Just wanted to say that we have a photography studio here in Oklahoma City and we create content for brands all day, every day. It's what we do for a living. But we also put out a lot of resources for other photographers. So if you're interested in how we light, which lenses we use, uh, how to use Photoshop, really just anything, go give us a follow there. We'd love to interact with you and say hello.